straight filleting an apple cartuna, which was generously donated by Jeremy at Fish People and Garibaldi. Thank you, Jeremy. Thanks, Jeremy. All right, and some of the pieces of equipment that you're going to need are one to two large cutting boards and a very sharp fillet knife and just kind of a bucket of water that you can wash your hands off with. Alba Cortuna does not like to be under flowing water. It'll cause the flesh to kind of disintegrate and flake off. So just have your water off to the side for cleaning as you go. So you just want to take your knife and go around the tail like so. And then just making a slight score, you want to go up either sides of the spine. Just cutting through the skin. And then the other side. So you want to go on both sides of the spine? Yep, you want to go on both sides of the spine. Alright. And now we're going to do the same thing but on the belly. This cut's going to be a little bit different. You want to go up the belly. You want to get start going in a little bit deeper right around here and just make a little turn. And like so. Next up, you want to take your fin and you kind of want to cut around the fin and down onto the belly like so, and then you want to come up and swooping up, connect to that cut that's on that top spine. And repeat on the other side. So if you notice in the tuna, they're really good at being camouflaged. Um, so the top of the tuna is really dark and some with the blue tuna they can be a really dark blue so that blends in with the ocean floor so if you're looking from above uh, you can't see them and then their bellies are a silvery white which again if you're looking from up it matches the sky <laughs> <laughs> so now that you have your fin cut all the way through on either side you want to pull that head back and pull out Ew. All of your guts. Now, <laughs> if you're canning at home, you there's a lot of really good meat in the head right here that you can just scrape out with your hand. Like so. And then you set that aside. And we'll get started on the rest. Now we want to get the skin off of the tuna. And you just want to start by making... A little cut and pulling away that really nice hard skin away from the flesh and once you get a good handle on it then you should just be able You guys want another fun fact about tuna? Yes, yes. let's hear one, Lexi. Tell us more about tuna. Um, tuna is a very large fish, although this one is on the smaller side. The average uh, size of a tuna is 6.5 feet. That is like one of me plus. That's six foot. Guess how big, guess how big the largest tuna was. How big? 21 feet. Wow. Oh my so gosh. That's like three plus of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you can cut out your belly meat, which is a very desirable cut. It's really nice and fatty. And now that we have our tuna all skinned, we can start filleting it. This is the spine, so this is the one side of the belly. You just want to cut it right down the middle. And once you get in there, you'll be able to feel some bones. And you just kind of want to start and take your knife at the tail end. Start making a couple of cuts. And once you get the knife all the way through, you can kind of start peeling back the flesh. 
following that top spine and you get your first fillet. We'll set that aside. And now we're gonna come on what would be the belly of the tuna and do the same thing. And now we are going to be cutting the bloodline out of the tuna. And what you wanna do is see this line right there, you wanna cut right behind there all the way down, get your start, and then you just kind of want to slowly peel back, making sure not to get any of that dark red meat left behind. Once you get to this point right here, you'll see a tendon like that that you can feel, and you just want to get rid of that because that's really chewy and not a part that you want to eat. So we're going to do a chunk, a couple of chunks right out of the middle. All right, now we're going to go and get this in batter and fry it up. So in this bowl I have some rice flour, some granulated onion and garlic, some dill, and we're going to add a little bit of soda water and PBR to make the batter. We're going to deep fry it today. Alright, so we got our pieces of tuna and we're just going to dunk them in the batter making sure to get it evenly coated and when you're dumping, when you're dunking stuff in a fryer you want to gently place it in the fryer. You don't want to drop it in vigorously because that will just cause all of the batter to come off. So you just kind of want to float it in and then release. approximately four minutes to finish cooking. Once the fish starts floating to the top, that means that it's done and ready to eat. So there you have it. Tuna fish and chips, courtesy of Rachel. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers.